The rumors have been coming out about the iPhone 15 and Apple themselves has announced their launch event for September 12, 2023. There are a lot of speculations and persons talking about what the specs are for the iPhone 15, what we can expect and other devices that will be released on that date such as the iPad mini, the Apple Watch and also a rumor for the Apple AirPod Max and also the regular Apple AirPods. I'm Siobhan Beckford and in this video we'll be talking about those rumors, speculations and what we can expect. Without any further ado, let me dive right into this video. If you're watching this video, you're probably going to be upgrading to the iPhone 15 or one of the 15 lineup of phones from the previous 14 or maybe switching from Android to join the Apple community. Maybe even upgrading from one of those older model of iPhones such as as far back as the iPhone X. In this video, we'll be mainly focusing on the specs from the rumors and leaks of the iPhone 15 lineup of phones. Let's dive right into the specs of the iPhone 15 lineup of devices. So right off the bat, we're expecting an iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. There are no rumors of a 15 Pro Mini in this year's lineup of iPhones. As it relates to color, we're expecting colors of black, white, orange, blue and yellow. Rumor has it we shouldn't expect an Apple red iPhone 15 or an Apple purple iPhone 15. But we know how Apple is. We probably see it next year in some special edition lineup of iPhones like what they did this year and last year for the 13. Another rumor is that we can expect some smooth rounded edges on the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro and also the 15 Pro Max compared to the previous generations of iPhone. Unlike the iPhone 12, 13 and 14 which had a box sharp edge design, the 15 will have a nice smooth rounded design to be more comfortable when holding in your hand. Even though I don't know who walks around with their iPhone not in a case. The iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will be made with titanium metal. This will make the phone more durable, lighter and also less prone to fingerprints. So you no longer have to worry about your phone looking like a mirror or something that attracts a ton of fingerprints once you touch it because we've all been there with the iPhone 14, 13 and 12. It is also rumored that we won't be having the mute switch on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. It's not currently guaranteed that we will be getting an upgrade to the mute switch on the 15 and 15 Plus. But rumor has it that the mute switch on the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will now be an action button that is customizable and operates similar to what we see on the Apple Watch Ultra. The Pro models will come in four color options. We will see the return of the blue version like what we saw on the iPhone 12 and the brand new gray color. Since we're finished talking about the outer exterior and how the phone looks, let us move on to the display on the devices. The 15 and 15 Plus will receive the dynamic island that we saw on last year iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. The bezels on the Pro models will also be thinner compared to the bezels from the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. The brightness on all the devices are also rumored to increase to improve outdoor usage and clarity. So I guess gone are the days when you go outside with your iPhone 14 or 14 Plus and the sun is overpowering the screen. We know the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max got up to 1000 nits but this year it is rumored that even the base model 15 and 15 Plus will get a bump in brightness. Now let's discuss one of the features that makes our iPhone special. The cameras. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will receive the 48 megapixel sensor from the 14 Pro models. This doesn't mean you will receive the same image quality as the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max though. Even though they'll receive the same sensor as the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, photos might still be limited to 12 megapixels, like what we saw on the 14 and 14 Plus. 
to keep the Pro and Pro Max at the top notch of the lineup of phones. So in other words, even though Apple is transferring the same sensor from the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max to the 15 and 15 Plus, they will cap the performance and image quality coming from the 15 and 15 Plus so it doesn't make the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max and the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max redundant. Now let's discuss the sensor sizes. The 15, 15 Plus and 15 Pro will all boast a 1 over 1.28 inch sensor. The 15 Pro Max will have a 1 inch sensor which are all made by Sony. This 1 inch sensor will give us some results from what we saw from the Xiaomi 13 Pro which had a huge sensor as well and was probably, doubtably, I don't know, some persons say it, some persons don't want to approve it. That was the best photography phone of 2023 until maybe we see the iPhone 15 Pro of course. But yeah, the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be boasting a one inch sensor, the largest sensor we've ever seen on an iPhone to improve image quality on both photos and videos alike. Oh, and iPhone sensors will still be made by Sony of course, the major manufacturer of smartphone camera sensors. There are also rumors of a periscope zoom module that is rumored to offer five to six times optical zoom. So yes, there's a rumor that iPhone will finally receive five to six times optical zoom. For reference, the Google Pixel 7 Pro has five times optical zoom and Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has 10 times optical zoom. Currently, Samsung is sitting at the throne for the best zoom camera on a smartphone but let's see what Apple has in store even though 5 to 6 times won't catch up to 10 but it's a 48 megapixel sensor so let's see how that stacks up to Samsung's measly 10 megapixel for their periscope camera. The rumors have also speculated that there will be a slight improvement to the LiDAR sensor on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max even though this means nothing to majority of Apple users. Now let's discuss one of the next major upgrades we see on every iPhone each year, the chipset. This year, the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will be boasting the A16 chip from the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. The 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max on the other hand will receive the brand new A17 Apple Silicon chip. There are rumors that this chip will be 3 nanometers, even though when the iPhone 14 Pro was released, Apple was bragging that it's a 4 nanometer chip, but in reality it was 5 nanometers, they were lying, so let's see if they will really pull off. 3 nanometers in the iPhone 15 Pro when they had 5 nanometers and said it was 4 in the iPhone 14 Pro Max and Pro. The A16 performed at 3.46 GHz and it is speculated that the A17 will jump to a whopping 3.7 GHz. There are some speculations that the RAM might also improve from 6GB to 8GB but there are also rumors that it will stay at 6GB. I really hope it improves to 8GB of RAM because the iPhone 14 lineup of devices were struggling with RAM management while Android devices are out here flexing 16GB of RAM and throwing RAM everywhere to apps that don't even need RAM. So. Apple, it's kinda 2023, 6 gigabytes of RAM ain't cutting it. We know you're optimized and everything is smooth, but it wasn't so optimized with the RAM last year. <coughs> and also the elephant in the room. Apple will finally be switching to USB Type-C. And no, this is no innovation, they didn't do it willingly. The EU told them that if they didn't make their device have a USB Type-C port, they won't be able to sell them in the European Union. And because Apple know that a lot of their customers are also in Europe, they will have to comply with this policy the EU has passed, which is fair. It's 2023, almost everything has a Type-C port. Why is Apple holding on to that measly lightning port? Their iPad and MacBook charges with a Type-C port, so why holding on to that lightning port for your flagship device? Why? 
but even though Apple will be adding the Type-C ports to their devices, they are still going to be Apple and they are still going to cut corners and cheat out their customers. The iPhone 15 and 15 Plus will receive USB 2.0 while the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will receive USB 4.0. This is very... I don't know what to say because this is Type-C. There are so much possibilities with Type-C yet Apple is using Type-C and they're choosing to cut down the capabilities of said type C on purpose. Like that makes no sense. Let me put it into perspective. So the type C port, the USB 2.0 they'll be using on the 15 and the 15 plus will be capped at 480 megabits per second. While the type C USB 4.0 port that will be on the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max will cap out at 40 gigabits per second. Yes. So technically, the type C port on the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max will be 80 times faster than the type C port on the 15 and the 15 plus 80 times faster and it's the same port it's a type C port why Apple why it's just a rumor anyway so I'm not gonna get flustered over it even though the ports will support the speed Apple will only provide a regular type C cable they will be selling the 40 gigabits per second cable separately yes so you heard me they will be selling the 40 gigabits per second cable separately so it won't come in the box so even though your pro and pro max supports up to 40 gigabits per second you're not getting the cable to support that speed in the box this is just apple being apple let's hope it's just a rumor the charging cables will now be color matched to match your iPhone and also braided so they can last longer. It is also speculated that the cables will be increased to 1.5 meters. For Americans, this will be 4.92 hamburgers. <laughs> I'm sorry, this will be 4.92 feet. Let's move on to the battery. So the battery on the iPhone 15 will be 3877 milliamp hours. Now this is an improvement from 3279 on the iPhone 14. This is an 18% increase. On the 15 plus we have a 4912 milliamp hour battery from 4325 and this is a 13% increase. On the 15 Pro, we have a 3650 milliamp hour battery from 3200 and this is a 14% increase. On the big one, the 15 Pro Max, we have a 4852 milliamp hour battery from the 4323 on the 14 Pro Max from last year. This is a 12% increase. So I know you guys are wondering, why is the battery on the 15 bigger than the battery on the 15 Pro? And why is the battery on the 15 Plus bigger than the battery on the 15 Pro Max? I was wondering the same thing. But they're trying to justify this because the Apple 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max will be using the newer chipset. And this newer chipset will be three nanometers, thus being better at performance, but also better at efficiency. So it will take less power to get the same or more tasks done. So they don't need a bigger battery per se. So they're cutting down the battery on the pro variants compared to the regular variants because the regular variants are adapting the chipset from last year's 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. They still should have made them bigger anyways. It's the Pro and Pro Max, but I'm not Apple. Charging speed. So all devices will charge at 35 watt. Yes, a measly 35 watt from 27 watt last year. Yes, a measly 35 watt charging speed in 2023, even with a type C port. And that's an upgrade from 27 watt last year but 
even though you're getting an upgrade to 35 watts this year on the 15 phones, you still need a faster charging adapter that Apple sells separately. And there's also rumors that they won't be selling this adapter. You have to buy it from some third party manufacturer that sells charging bricks that offer 35 watts and above. This sucks. But there's a pro to this. They will be improving their wireless charging speed to 15 watts. And this 15 watt is not limited by the wireless charging dock that Apple is selling, but you can achieve this 15 watt from any third party wireless charger. So I guess that's a pro compared to the measly 35 watt charging speed. Moving right along. I really wished Apple would get reverse wireless charging for their iPhone 15 and 15 Pro lineup of phones, but I guess we are gonna have to wait maybe five more generations to see that. You know, maybe you're on the go and you forgot to take your lightning cable for your AirPods because they still use lightning cable. And you want to charge it up, but you don't have the charger. You just put it on the back of your device give it some juice and you can listen music. Like what Samsung and other Android users do, you can reverse wireless charge devices on the back of your Android smartphone. I really hope Apple would add this feature, but I didn't see any rumors about it. We're now down to the final category, price. And this is the region where we saw the least changes which is good this is very good for the iphone 15 we are still seeing 800 dollars for the 128 gigabyte variant and the 15 plus is 900 dollars which are the same as the iphone 14 last year for the 15 pro we're seeing 1100 dollars for the 256 gigabyte variant which is now the base variant for the pro models and the 15 pro max is $1,200 for the base model, which is 256 gigabytes. So this year, they're rumoring that there will be a 15 Pro Max that has up to two terabytes of storage opposed to one terabyte of storage that we saw on the 14 Pro Max. For the 15 and the 15 Plus, if you're upgrading from, let's say an iPhone 14 or 14 Plus or even a 13, I would suggest you get a 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max because for the 15 and the 15 Plus, you could probably get a 14 Pro or Pro Max refurbished or brand new for the same price you would be purchasing the 15 and the 15 Plus 4. And we all know the Pro variants of the predecessor is always better than the regular and the plus variant of the new versions. And there is a speculation that there will be a 15 Pro Max version with up to two terabytes of storage compared to the one terabyte of storage we were getting on the 14 Pro Max last year. And according to the rumors and the trends that took place over the years, these devices should be available for shipping within a week after the announcement. There might be some delays in that aspect for the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max due to some related issues in China, but you can expect the regular 15 and the 15 Plus to be shipping a week or two after the announcement. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button and the subscribe button so I can continue making more videos like these. I'm Siobhan Beckford. Stay tuned for more rumors and updates I have as it relates to Apple devices, AirPods, the iPad mini, Apple Watch coming next week. Siobhan Beckford, hit the subscribe button. Bing! Signing out. Mercy. Is filled with love. My heart is filled.